two composers that every pianist wants to play all their life, I guess. And in a way, it's 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 not helping them to to celebrate anniversary. The last thing Chopin and Schumann need is to be reminded that it's their 200th birthday. I, everybody knows they're very famous. It's more a chance for us, really, to do that music. I, I always thought of Schumann as somebody much older, uh, partly because Schumann was someone who, who wrote about music as well as writing music. He was actually the first one to recognize Chopin. The first phrase he wrote about Chopin was, hats off, gentlemen, a genius. So you always think, I, I always thought of him as maybe 10 years older and writing about Chopin, but it turns out they're exact contemporaries. With Chopin, what always amazes me is that although the actual length of the piece is short, I guess by, by standards of sonatas of various people, it actually feels like an enormous piece. So something like the fourth ballade uh, or the Polonaise fantasy, which I'll actually be playing in the program, it's only 11 minutes but it feels like an incredibly big piece. It feels like a Beethoven sonata. And with Schumann, I can't say it's the opposite, but you're very aware of these little vignettes. The fantasy, even though it's a full-scale, big piece, is still very episodic. Schumann certainly was not the prodigy that Chopin was, but I think Schumann had more of a network, maybe. Uh, he, first of all, because he wrote about music, second of all, because he, I guess, had a girlfriend who played, who played the piano very well. Schumann was an incredibly generous man to other, to other composers and very interested in other music. Uh, he was supportive of, of most of the composers he met to one degree or another. He loved Chopin, he worshipped Brahms. Chopin, I'm sorry to say, was not quite as nice a character as Schumann. Uh, I don't think he had much use for composers of his time. As far as I know, the two composers he loved were Bach and Mozart. Those he worshipped, the rest he was less impressed by. He thought Beethoven was a little vulgar. It's all right, Mozart also didn't have much use for his fellow musicians. Mm -hmm. 